Welcome back to another episode of the Reckless Ranch Garage. On this episode, we're just talking about a Bronco that does not belong to us, but we are building it in the driveway. It's gonna be cool. We got a four-link suspension coming up, three-link suspension coming up. Stick around. It's gonna be fun. Yeah! High five. The Bronco we are building the suspension on is a 1994 OJ Simpson Special Edition. It has 35 inch tires, a doved bed, the factory rear 8.8 axle, and a front twin traction beam. For the rear, we're going to be building a triangulated 4 link and swapping in a beefy sterling axle with 40 inch tires. So the first step to this Bronco suspension build thing that we're going to be doing is basically gutting the entire back half of the frame. We're going to take all the stock suspension stuff off. We're going to get that axle out from under there and make sure any existing fuel lines and stuff are out of our way so we don't burn it to the ground before we get too much party going. Oh yeah. We're trying to build a suspension, not a bonfire, yet. After a couple weeks on this thing, we might be in bonfire mode. We don't know yet, so <laughs> stay tuned. Might not be the right size, but right now it's the right tool for the job. Exactly. Once we got rid of all those factory brackets from the frame, we cut the muffler because it was living in the same place where some links and a cross member were going to go. We knew that we wanted to stretch each end of the suspension around 3 inches, giving us a 111 inch wheelbase. We rolled the axle underneath the Bronco to our ideal wheelbase and then we set the frame to ride height with frame stands.
The next step is to mock up our link brackets, and we're using a bracket from Rust Stuff Specialties that combines the upper and lower frame bracket in one piece. This makes putting together the frame side really easy. We put the brackets as far forward as we could on the frame without interfering with the transfer case and the fuel filter. Chris used this pin on the frame as an indexing pin so that both brackets will key to the same exact spot on the frame every time we take the bracket on and off. If you guys couldn't tell already, we are by no means suspension experts. What we like to do after we get the frame side brackets located is cut some PVC pipe and mock up one side of the links and get a good visual reference of how this is going to look. This really helps to get an idea of how the triangulation of the links is going to look and we could easily tell on our mock up if we're going to have any clearance issues uh, as the suspension cycles. After looking at the mock up links on the Bronco, we liked where everything was sitting and we decided to transfer that into the four link calculator. Our target anti-squat value was right around 70%. In our experience, that has been a really good number for just an all-around off-road vehicle that sees a little bit of everything. The four-link calculator that we use is the triage four-link calculator. It is free. The link is down below in our description. Some guy out there that is way smarter than us put this thing together and offers it for free, so kudos to him. Going over all the measurements in this calculator doesn't really fit what this video is for, but if you guys want more four-link information, drop your questions and comments down below, and then maybe we can address that in an upcoming video. We interrupt this broadcast from a message from our sponsors. Hey guys, Chris from the future here. I just want to thank you guys for watching our video, and I know what you're thinking. You're wondering, hey, these Reckless Wrench guys are awesome. How the heck can I support their channel? Go to www.recklesswrenchgarage.com. We have a lot of new merch on the website. I just want to let you guys know. We got Reckless Wrench hats, Reckless Wrench flags. We got many Reckless Wrench flags for your whips, antennas, and whatever else you want to put a tiny little miniature flag on. We also have new stickers. We have a Stuburban sticker. We have a Ranger sticker, Fing Shock sticker. Make sure you guys go check it out. Again, RecklessRentsGarage.com. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Back to the program. Now that we're happy with the link geometry, we final weld all the link brackets and axle truss, and then cut the links and burn in the tube adapters.
We cycled the suspension to full bump and droop to get a good idea of where the coilovers and bump stops needed to go. We tried to articulate the suspension, but we quickly ran into sheet metal issues with the 40 inch tires getting into the side of the fenders. This is nothing that a grinder and some extreme prejudice couldn't take care of though. I personally like the way a vehicle looks when you tuck tires up inside the sheet metal when you're flexing. Um, in this case, we couldn't do that because it was dubbed. Took the cutoff disc to it that night and made pretty sparks. Just cut the quarter panels off. Yeah. May or may not have surprised Matt by doing that. Said, hey, how do you want these cut? Oh, let's do a competition cut. No. Yeah. I won't do that, but I'll cut this out for you. And then it just kind of did like most of the other people with Broncos do and cut off the entire quarter panel. So we set the Bronco at uh, six inches of shaft showing at ride height. And Matt brought me some, he bent some, uh, some tube up at his house and just brought me some shock hoops that were super long. Uh, tacked some shock mounts on the axle and just kind of took some two by fours and rested the coilovers at the angle that I wanted to mount them. I uh, did the same thing as the Suburban, just mounted them straight to the top of the frame, a little bit tilt at, tilted out because I wanted to make sure that both when it goes to full bump and when it articulates, the coilover would never smack the, the body that was still there. factory frames suck, so I'll add some more gussets so it has a little more surface area that's attaching the shock hoops to everything. Uh, I think the bump cans on the outside are good, but like we saw on yours, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll add a gusset to the inside of that. Rear's pretty well squared away. Yeah, a couple gussets, maybe some plates or whatever, and then he's got to get a drive shaft and a better rear brake line than that <laughs> dangly thing on the back. But. Yeah. I don't know if he's doing limit straps or not. He should be doing limit straps. You always want limit straps. Yeah. I guess that, uh, that does it for this video. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end. You can stop watching now. Nothing <laughs> else is going to happen after this. But you're still here yeah. and you're still watching. Anyway, drop comments down below on what you guys thought about the episode. Hit that little like button, little thumbs up thingy. Why's it gotta be little? Because the video's the big thing. Touche. Subscribe so you guys can see us do the front end. And until next time. Stay, stay reckless. reckless. Damn it, we f***ed up. Dang it. All right. And <laughs> <laughs> and so until next time. Stay, stay reckless. reckless. But we do drink normal beer, not those weird little seltzer, I don't know, you drink those. The bitch waters? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>